Hello, this is Brian with Stevens Data. Welcome to our video. In this demo, we're going to illustrate how we use cases, which is a part of the customer service portion of Dynamics 365. For us, our case here, we're going to have the we have the field service Dynamics 365 field service, which is the uh, sandbox we're using for this demonstration. So. The way it typically works is a customer will send a customer request, for example, they'll send to, to support at, you know, whatever the company is, and, and uh, it can either come in automatically and populate, or it could come to an individual, and they could collect the information and put the information into the system, which is what we're going to illustrate right here. So what we want to do is we're going to come in here, and we're going to give it a title. So let's say in this case, we're getting a network problem is reported. And we're going to complete just some of the basic information that we need in order to uh, get this uh, case into the system. And we've been working with Contoso Fabrication today. And in this case, we want to let everybody know that it came in via email. And, of course, we can complete some of these other items. The, the thing that I do want to make sure and add is the actual device, the customer asset, if you will, that is uh, impacted here for this. And that should be the assembly Virtuoso 200 is what they've identified. And then uh, we need to check the network connection. So what that'll do is that'll give our tech just the basic information and uh, we know that this is going to go into, let's save and close. So let's say, I, I don't know whether if I'm either one creating it initially and it, somebody takes it into a queue or I continue to work at either case, what happens is, is this has created the basic case, gives it a case title, it auto-populates a case number. We have a default priority here and it gives some basic information about it so far. So now what I want to do is go ahead and uh, I want to convert this to a work order. In order to do that, I'm going to use this conversion tool here. It will tell me if there's other prerequisites I need that have not collected before I create a work order. So let's see what happens there. Sure enough, I've got an incident type. So the work order needs that to be completed. So I'm going to say, yeah, I'll do that. And then let's go pick it. So we think that the line connection is lost. And so now we're going to go ahead and convert. And so it's giving me a message that the work order was created successfully. We need to open the newly created work order. It's going to do that as soon as I click OK. Uh, some of the detail records might take a few minutes to be generated. The reason for that message is a lot of this uh, processes in the background or workflows, uh, they will pre-populate data and, and records and information, and it takes just a minute. By the time I click OK here, it'll all be there and ready to go. But it's just giving you a heads up. All right, so here we are. We've, we're now in the work order. You see we're over here in the work orders. And then here's our work order. It's automatically generated. It's populated the number. It's put the information in, some of the things in the background. The billing account has been, been assigned. In this particular case, Contoso Fabrication is a service unit or fabrication facility, but all the bills go here. That's all been pre-configured as a part of the system. And so we've got a, a diagnose and repair and all these different things that populates in order to create a work order. In fact, it's let's go over here and see how it's, these are the things that happen in the background. Because the work order was created, we've got some of these service tasks that have been automatically populated for the repair technician and including some services and even some products. So that's basically the uh, creation of a case, conversion to work order. I would recommend if you want to see the work order lifecycle, please go to our field service video, which goes from a creation of a work order through completion, and you can see how that happens.